Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing the £550 gaming PC. Uh, I'm not going to say much here and I'm just going to get straight into the list. So the CPU that I have is the Ryzen 3 3100. It's the same as the £600 build. If you want to see that one, uh, it'll be in the description and it'll be one of the end cards of this video. Um, it's a really nice CPU and it's actually really really cheap. I'm surprised it's so cheap so it's quite powerful. And um if you want some if you have a bit more money and you want something that could potentially be a lot more powerful, I'd recommend that you go for the six hundred pound build. But if you absolutely just cannot go that extra bit of money and like you're barely even fitting for the five hundred and fifty pound budget, then um yeah, I'd say just do this one. It's pretty nice. Um Alright, so that's the CPU. The motherboard that I picked is the same as all of my other uh, budget builds, well, all of the other micro ITX budget builds. It's just the B450M Pro. I'm not going to say much about that there. Uh, the memory that we have, I've changed it up a bit. I actually quite like this memory because it looks really nice and it's only £60. It's a 16 gigabytes to 8 gigabyte sticks. And um, yeah, it's just really nice since. Uh, got some good speed there too. Alright, so for storage we have a 1TB hard drive, same as all the other videos, and an SSD, 120GB, pretty much the same as all the other videos as well. So with the SSD you'd keep Windows on it, and then with the storage you put like all your games on it and stuff like that. Um, so for the video card we have the GTX 1650 Super, you've got 4GB of VRAM, so it's pretty good. And you could probably run a game like with this CPU and GPU, this combo on like Fortnite, probably like 120 FPS or something like that. I haven't really looked at it too much. But um, if you want to see a review for this CPU and GPU, there'll be a link to it down in the description. There's a bunch of other stuff down there too. Um, so for the case, I picked the Matrix 30, the Dequal Matrix 30. I think I'm saying that right. It just looks really nice, I think. And it's not very expensive either. Um, I would have liked to see like tempered glass in it, but I mean, you can't really be expecting something like that for a really cheap, nice case. Um, right. So the next thing that we have, if my page will load, there we go, uh, is the power supply. Literally just the same as all my other videos. The Be Quiet System Power Nine. This is four hundred watts rather than like five hundred or six hundred because uh, that would really just be overkill for this wattage. Uh, if you wanted to go with something a bit higher, if you wanted to change this up, then you can, um, and it wouldn't cost you that much more. Uh, and the final thing that we have here is just these Corsa ICUEs, as I say it. And I'm really, really surprised they're so cheap. They just look really nice, and they're really cool. Um, and for £14 each, just not bad at all. I'm... I might actually use these in a build that I'm serving up for because they actually just look so nice and so cute. So um yeah, that's it for this list. This is just a quick bottleneck for um the Ryzen 3 3100 and the GTX 1650 Super. Um yeah, it got really good results, like less than two percent on everything, which is really good. And uh yeah. Just really good there. If you want to use Bornet Calculator or PC Part Picker, there will be a link to both of those in the description. And if you want to get access to this list and anything else, there's loads of stuff in the description, then you could go check that out. And uh, yeah, there's not much else to say left. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.